How's it going? Good. good. It's good to see you again. Welcome back to the office. So I was reading that we have you scheduled for a couple of your annual exams today. Okay. So we're going to do a little bit of a scalp overview, just very quickly have a look and make sure everything's okay. Um, your annual skin assessment is up to date. It looks like you just got that done. So that's mm -hmm. great. Um, so you are overdue for your breast exam. So we'll go ahead and do that today. A little bit of an abdominal assessment. Just have a look at your abdomen, make sure that everything is functioning okay there. So we'll do some palpations of your organs and make sure that there's no signs of inflammation or anything otherwise abnormal. Um, and then I will have you turn around and we'll go ahead and do a little bit of a back exam, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'll just have a look at your spine, make sure that there's no changes, no abnormalities on the back side, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm gonna start as usual, just going over kind of a visual inspection. So I'll go ahead and start with my light here, mm -hmm. using a little bit of a different light today, a little bit dimmer, because you did say you were having a headache today, so I don't wanna kind of overstimulate you, okay? okay. So I'm going to start at the scalp and just bring my card a little bit closer here so I'm not reaching for my tools. Okay, so there are just a couple key areas that I want to have a look at. So I'm just going to clip this to your shirt in case I end up needing it. And you can just go ahead and relax. I'm just going to start by kind of a brief overview of the hairline. So you don't typically have any issues in this area, but it's always best to just have a look and make sure. So I'm just going to section off a very small section today and make sure that there's nothing abnormal going on here. Okay. Scalp appears very healthy. I don't see any signs of redness. There's no flaking as far as I can tell. Another small area here. Right. I'm really not seeing anything concerning as far as your hair goes. Gently brushing through the very top portion of your hair, looking for anything that is sort of obviously abnormal, but I don't see anything so far. I'm also going to have a look at the very end of your hair. So oftentimes abnormalities in this area can indicate a protein deficiency, so just looking to see if there's anything notable, but all of that looks okay. So what I'm going to do is just kind of divide up this section here and get it out of the way so that I can have a little bit of a better look here. So your hair is color treated. But it does not look like you have any excess damage, no breakage to the shaft, or anything otherwise concerning. I'm going to do a little bit of a tugging test here, and it's just going to involve me kind of gently pulling. Good. Looking for any gumming or stretching of the hair, which I'm not seeing. Okay. So 
what I want to do while I have your hair parted here is just a very brief neurological functioning test so just testing for any sensory abnormalities here so just want you to tell me if this feels cold good in here good in here good feels cold as well on this side okay and should feel like a gentle vibration should feel cold as well. Good. Perfect. Good. Okay. So just gonna have a little bit of a closer look at the scalp to make sure that there's nothing I'm missing. No signs of any microscopic infestation or anything of the sort. that we would be concerned about. Okay. So while I have you in this position, I will just go ahead and have a very quick look inside your ears. Good. Nice and clear. signs of excess earwax there's nothing protruding into the external ear canal or anything otherwise concerning there okay just go ahead and remove this clip from your hair okay. all right Isabel let's go ahead and get started with the second portion of your examination so you did say that you were overdue for your breast exam. So it's been about four years since you've had one. Ideally, um, at 25, I would like you to be getting them every two years. Mm -hmm. So it looks like we skipped a visit somewhere in between, which is totally fine. So if it's all right with you, we will go ahead and proceed with um, kind of a non-invasive breast exam because you are so young, we're not overly concerned that there's anything specifically wrong, but it is good just to make sure that the tissue is not abnormally fibrous, which basically means the breast tissue that's underneath, it's kind of cone shaped. And sometimes those ducts can become overly fibrous, too thick, and then that can indicate something more serious like breast cancer or even clogged ducts, whether or not you're pregnant, um, different things like that. So we just wanna have a look and make sure that there's nothing concerning and no reason that you would need to go see a specialist and have a mammogram done or anything like that, okay? And you've not been experiencing any abnormalities there, no abnormal discharge, nothing like that, everything has been okay. No pain or tenderness. Um, sometimes women experience mild tenderness when they're on their period, mm -hmm. but it shouldn't be anything, you know, extremely painful and nothing that is all the time or for like a prolonged period of time. Mm -hmm. So all of that has been fine. Okay, so we will go ahead and begin with the breast exam. So. I'll have you just relax for me and it's going to be very mild, just kind of gentle palpations, nothing too deep and nothing too invasive here, okay? Okay. So I'm going to start up with the clavicle and the reason for that is because we have lymph nodes that run down our collarbone. So I'm just going to be feeling around and making sure I don't feel any signs of inflammation here, okay? Mm -hmm. Just feeling like my any abnormality in the nodes? I don't know if I can feel any 
one of my large rolls. And I'm excited for inflammation here. Making sure to kind of cup back underneath the clavicle and filling along the top portion as well. Let that just appear normal. Okay, and I'm going to just palpate along the chest wall. you do is just rest your arm kind of like this and I'm going to check in the axilla area looking in the lymph nodes that are underneath your arm as well. Um, we do sometimes see kind of swollen lymph nodes in this area or some more kind of secretive signs of breast cancer can sometimes hide in the underarm. So we do want to do palpations here as well. I'm not feeling anything at all. No signs of excess swelling or edema. No notable nodules. Good. Okay, so I'm going to come over the other side and do the same thing. You're doing great. Okay, so just checking this side. feeling anything here. Axillary tissue all feels normal. Okay, so all of that feels great. Perfect, okay. So in order to get started with the breast exam, I am going to go ahead and pull the sheet up a little bit just to give you a little more privacy, and then I'll begin palpating around that area. So let me just pull this up for you. Okay, since I'm on this side, I will go ahead and start here. So I'm just going to do some gentle palpations, make sure that there's nothing notable or abnormal in this area. Feeling around in circular motions. Just using the pads of my fingers to try to differentiate between the normal breast tissue and anything that could be considered abnormal or concerning. So far, nothing. Not feeling anything here. Okay, I think we're good on this side, so I'll go ahead and move over to the other side to complete the examination. Okay, just gonna do the same thing on this side, starting up at the top. I'm feeling anything of concern today so I think we're good to go as far as the breast exam so that's wonderful news mm -hmm. so let's go ahead and move on to your abdominal assessment and like I said I just want to have a brief look at your abdomen make sure that there's nothing concerning no signs of inflammation in your pancreas or anything like that okay so I am just going to slide this down okay so 
I'm just gonna tuck this underneath your belly button and we only need just a little bit of exposure here, enough for me to just have a look at your abdomen. So I'm gonna start with some auscultations. So I'm gonna use my stethoscope to listen to your heart as well as your belly. Make sure that everything sounds healthy and is functioning within normal limits. So this is very cold, I do apologize. I want you to just take a couple regular breaths for me to start, okay? I'm not hearing any cause for concern there. So I'm gonna move down and listen to your abdomen now, okay? So again, just take normal breaths for me. Take a deep breath in for me. Perfect. One more. Good. Okay. So I'm gonna listen right over your belly button and I'm listening for any signs of umbilical hernia. So I'm just gonna pull this down slightly here so I have a little bit better access. Hearing anything concerning here? Good. Okay. So all of that sounds healthy. So I shall go ahead and put this away. And we can move on with the next portion of our examination. So I'm going to start by just having a look with my light, just like I did to your hairline, just having an overall look, making sure nothing looks abnormal there, okay? So just using my light to cast the natural shadow here, looking for any signs of anything that could be protruding, any signs of abdominal hernia, anything like that. And it does look like at one point you had your belly button pierced. Mm -hmm. Is that still an active piercing? No. Not anymore. Do you know if the hole is open or has it closed? I'm not sure. Okay. I'm going to just have a look and see if there's any signs of infection or anything there. Okay. When is the last time you had a piercing in place? Like a long time a ago. A long time ago. Yeah. Okay. So at least a couple of years. Mm -hmm. So it does appear that as though the piercing might still be active. I definitely would be careful if for whatever reason you do decide to insert a piercing, mm -hmm. it could be closed in the very center. So I don't want you to hurt yourself, but it does appear as if it might be still active. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is still open on both the opening and the closure. No signs of infection or anything otherwise abnormal there though. I'm also not noticing any scar tissue, no signs of keloid or anything like that. Okay. And the belly button itself does appear healthy. There's no signs of excess debris or anything like that. Skin itself is well intact, smooth. Nothing notable or concerning here. to move on to some gentle palpations. So I'm just gonna be using three of my fingers to palpate around your abdomen here, okay? Mm -hmm. So starting here, gently feeling on top of and underneath your rib cage. Any 
pain or tenderness here. Mm. On this side, no pain or tenderness here. Mm -hmm. good, good. So just starting off with a gentler palpation. Taste all the feels normal. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of a deeper palpation here. This time I'm feeling for your organs. Okay, so I'm not feeling any sort of excess inflammation or anything that would indicate any abnormality within your organs. All of that feels completely normal, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do as far as your abdominal exam um, is just do some gentle percussion. So I have a couple different devices here that I will be using and it's just kind of a gentle tapping mm -hmm. to just kind of feel around listening for any signs or symptoms that there could be an abnormality there. So, so far that sounds normal. Any pain or tenderness in the belly here? Mm -hmm. okay. Again, the belly button here. No pain or tenderness mm -hmm. here. Okay, good. I'm going to repeat that test with a very small hammer, and this is going to do the same thing, just very slightly different. This time I'm going in a diagonal motion. Good. Okay, and then again along the ribs here, there's no pain or tenderness. Mm. Nothing along the belly button here. Good. Okay. So the last thing I'm going to do for your abdominal exam is just a very brief test for normal sensory response. So you don't have to do anything. I'm just looking for a natural neurological function. Basically, you have reflexes in your abdomen that will flex a certain way, reflexes in your skin, and I'm just looking to make sure all of that is intact mm -hmm. based on what stimuli I produce on the skin, okay? So just close your eyes for me, allow yourself to react naturally. So you can see the action of the muscle there, doing very well. Good, I know it's a little ticklish, you're doing great. Good. I'm going to do that with my second tool. So testing for temperature variation here. Perfect. Getting a great response. go ahead and test that with a different tool.
a normal neurological response and I don't see why there's any cause for concern as far as your breast exam or your abdominal assessment. I would say we could probably go ahead and move on to the examination of your back. So I will have you turn around um, onto your belly and then we'll assess your back, okay? Okay. All right, Isabel, let's go ahead and begin with your brief spinal assessment here. So I'm gonna start off with my pen light and just have kind of an overall look at everything and make sure that I'm not seeing anything surface level. And so today's examination, we're really just looking at the overall structural integrity of your back. So because you already had your skin assessment, we're more so just looking at like muscle tone, any signs of atrophy, any abnormalities in your kind of skeletal structure, anything like that, okay? at the structure of your back itself, palpating along, looking for any signs of abnormality in the back or the spine. I'm not going to palpate up the spine as I shine my light in. I'm looking for any signs of asymmetry in the shadow, which can indicate an abnormal sign of inflammation. And so as I shine my light and palpate along, just looking for any disparities which I'm not seeing. Good. So as I palpate here, I want you to tell me if you have any tenderness or pain in any of these areas, okay? So starting with this lower quadrant. Feeling anything abnormal here? Okay, as well as on this side. And I'm going to go into this upper quadrant here and feeling for any abnormalities along the back of your rib cage. Also along the scapula, which is the bone that runs the back of your shoulder. Not feeling anything here. Okay. So just gonna feel along this other side. And not feeling anything there either. So no signs of excess inflammation. Nothing feels out of place, which is good. So now we're gonna feel directly in between the vertebrae of your spine. Simple measurements here, checking for symmetry. So, measuring from the top of your shoulder to the base of that scapula, and then comparatively on the other side. We're just going to take some base measurements for symmetry along the spine. Good. Nothing notable here. Everything is pretty equal from side to side and the ratio of your 
waist to your hips is what I would consider with the normal limits as well as your shoulders to your waist. Good. Okay, well, so far the next thing I'm going to do is just perform a couple of percussions up the spine. So just some gentle tapping along the spine, okay? a little bit deeper here around the region where your kidneys lie. Test for some normal neurological responses here. So I want you to just relax for me as I test the reflexes of your spine. Doing great. Good. Okay. Same thing, just testing with a different tool. Difference in sensation here and here, and here and here, here and here, here and here. Good. And this all feels the same. any notable abnormalities with your spinal exam. The structure of the spine itself seems to be well intact. There's no signs of inflammation or any otherwise abnormalities that I can see, at least not on the surface level. Um, because you're not experiencing any pain or discomfort in your back today, I would say we can go ahead and give you the all clear for this year's annual examination. So unless you start experiencing any pain or any you know abnormal muscle tone or you feel like you're losing strength in your back or anything like that um, I would say you're probably good to go ahead and go on for another year I would like to see you again for your annual exam next year just to make sure that everything is still functioning properly um, but that is all for our examination today so you are all good for your 
abdominal exam, your breast exam was normal, and I have no concerns as far as your back goes, okay? Okay. All right, Isabel, well, thank you so much. You are welcome to go ahead and get dressed. I will give you a second. I'm going to update your patient portal, and I do need you to update your password to be able to log into that just because you are overdue for your visit today, okay? Mm -hmm. So it will prompt you to update your password when you try to retrieve the notes for today's visit, okay? All right, well, thank you so much. Have a good evening and get home safely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.